Last Friday, the Koch movement demonstrated at the U.S. Embassy in protest at the outrageous handling of the Intifada in Miami. It was an outrage. It was an out. They actually killed two people. It was an outrage. And they didn't even use plastic bullets. That's what you do with imagination. Instead of this deadly, dull hydra, this, this two-headed hydra. Paris and Shamir were the ever too dull people to lead a country in the world. Judaism, it's way. Citizenship of the state is open to every Jew throughout the world. Every Jew. If you want to vote, you'll have to live. In any part of Eretz, Israel, including the states of Israel. That anyone can be a citizen, no matter where he or she lives. And it's important that we register as many citizens as possible. It's very, very important. It's an urgent matter. It's important that when people visit Israel, that when they enter the country, that before they show their U.S. passport, they first show passport of Judea. And of course, they'll say what Maze, what what says you say, what do you mean? What do you mean? What, what, what's it? It's a passport. And they'll come and argue, but it isn't good. And you argue, good, argue, argue for a while. Argue for a while. And they'll bring the police. Maze, what's over here? And just speak English. Never, never speak Hebrew with them. Only English. That they respect. And you argue, discuss, and so on. And then afterwards, when things get a, a little warm, then you bring out the U.S. the U.S. passport. But let this be. We, we are applying tomorrow to the U.N. observer status at the U.N. And if we are turned down, we will we will appeal to the World Court in the in the Hague. Not the game. Every step that we take underlines and emphasizes again the sovereignty of Jews over that area. And we are the antidote to this terrible guilt and, and fear and, and complexes and, and self-hate. We, we're the antidote to that pride. Of course it's ours. No, they don't apologize for that. It's ours. It's ours. 